Hi everyone, this is Tatiana. I'm a guest chef from the Silvia Center, a nonprofit that specializes in hand and food and nutrition education for young people and their families in New York City and Columbia County. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a roasted carrot and white bean step. I'm going to eat it with pita chips and I hope you do it at home too. It's delicious and nutritious. Let's start now. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is our mise en place. I have my carrots, like four is fine. I already peeled them and washed them. Two springs of rosemary from my urban garden. Um, two garlic cloves, salt and pepper, canola oil, one can of white beans, and one and a half teaspoon of coriander seeds. Okay. So I'm gonna start with my carrots. Okay, so before you start to cut your carrots, you're gonna preheat the oven at 400. So we're gonna turn this on, 400. Okay, so we're gonna chop our carrots now. I have my helper today. Matias, ¿qué es decir hola? Sí, hola, Vico. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está, Vico? We're gonna cut our carrots. They don't need to be perfect. I'm just gonna chop them like this. Oh, we're gonna put our two garlic. <laughs> Muy bien. That's good. Now we're going to put some oil. Wow. We're going to put some salt and pepper. We're going to toast those. Okay. And now we're going to put it in a tea tray. And we're going to bake it for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Muy bien, muchas gracias. Okay, so this is ready to go to our oven. Okay, so before we put it in the oven, I'm sorry if I forgot that, we're gonna put yeah. our two springs of rosemary. Matias, ¿me puedes poner por favor el rosemary? Sí. Aquí. Mm. Perfecto, ahora sí está listo. Now it's ready. Okay, my carrots are ready. They are uh, fork tender. I already took the rosemary off and I'm gonna put this in my blender. You can use a food processor too. Okay, so before you start to blend anything, you're gonna crush your coriander seeds. I'm gonna use my mortar, but you can use the back of a spoon too. This is gonna give to the dip a very rich flavor and I really love the combination of, um, the combination of coriander and carrots and also cilantro and carrots is delicious too. Crush all of them, and this is ready now. Okay, so now that I have all my ingredients ready, I'm gonna add everything to the blender. So the carrots and the oil too. This oil has a very nice flavor because of the rosemary. I'm gonna add the garlic too, and there's some of the rosemary. That is fine. It's okay. Now I'm gonna add my coriander seeds. Salt and pepper, some oil, like one cup, and my white beans. And now we're gonna blend this until it's a smooth or it has the consistency that you're looking for. Okay. If you see that it have like big pieces on the side, just get a spatula and push it to the center and keep blended until it is a smooth. My dip has the consistency that I want, so I'm going to try now to see if it needs more salt or pepper or it's just ready for me and my pita chips. Let's see? Mm. Mm. It's perfect. Okay, so my dip is ready and it looks yummy and delicious. I already tried it with a pita chip. But I'm going to try it again. See? 
Mm. Very yummy. I can taste the rosemary and the garlic, the roasted garlic and the roasted carrots. And all the combination of all these ingredients is like really, really, really yummy. Okay, guys, I hope you do this recipe at home. Please let me know how it was. Um, and I hope to see you soon. My mama, my mama. Okay, so this is the time we say goodbye. Mama, 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 mama. Thank you for enjoying us today. To see more recipes, please go to our website or Instagram account and be safe. Bye-bye.